Hello and welcome back to the workshop. I'm doing something today that I've been wanting to do for a very long time and that is sort out my hanging system for the spray booth. Now at the minute I've just got my, it's a standard 3 meter or 3.3 meter dry back spray booth and I've just put a timber baton in the top of the booth and I've got a series of hooks in that baton and I just hang everything off the hooks on these S hooks. But what I'm looking for is something that's a little bit more adaptable in terms of if I put these hooks in different locations and they're, they're slightly wrong, sometimes the items will hit the end of the spray bee. So I'm looking to put a, a system in there that will allow me to put or hang an item anywhere in the booth. And equally, when I'm turning the item around on my own, I can hang half of it outside of the spray booth and swing the other half around nice and easily. So when I'm working on my own, I'll give you a bit of a feel for my spray booth. You sort of, the booth's over here on the right. And then I've just got uh, sort of what I'm using to paint with and everything on, on the side of the booth. It's a bit of an old, old cattle shed this, so it's not a, not your most professional spray booth ever, but it's a good space to work in. And then I've, I've partitioned this part of the, the building off, and then through that door, I can close this door, and then through the doorway there, I can then heat this space in here with my dodgy heater, and that's sort of my drying area. So everything I spray from in there has to be carried through and hung up in here and there's various sort of systems in here for hanging up so I've got a nice strong beam between the purlins in the roof that I can hang things from and then lighter bits if I've got loads of little sashes and stuff we've just got screws on every rafter and uh, strings hanging down so I can get about 25 to 30 sashes in here hanging up drying at one time and I've got sort of various drying racks and frames in the back here as well. They're bead frames for hanging beads on. But my problem lies when I have something like this door frame that I've got hanging in the booth there. When it's been sprayed, I really struggle in getting it through into the drying room. So to physically pick that frame up and try and carry it through to the drying room and get it hung up without damaging it in terms of touching the paint finish or putting it down on the floor is really, really difficult on my own. Something I've had my eye on for a while is like a track system that runs in the ceiling. But that's been sort of made really difficult by the fact that we've got these A-frames in the ceiling, the, uh, the trusses that hold the actual roof structure up. So, plus there's a partition here as well. So I'm, I'm probably looking at having something that's separated so I can slide it up to this beam transfer it to the next hook and slide it along. All I'm looking for really is something that will allow me to move these things into this drying area, whereas at the minute I'm having to get someone else to come and give me a hand. Now I know there's a couple of rail systems and tracks that aren't particularly expensive and have bearing rollers at a straight length in here. Wouldn't it be a couple of hundred quid to get sort of the materials here to do it? But being a farmer and uh, trying to repurpose as much as I can, this is actually something we had kicking around on the farm. We bought a 30 foot Arctic trailer and converted it to a bale trailer on the farm. And when we disassembled the curtain sided trailer, these tracks were in the top of that trailer that the curtains actually rang along. They are U profile tracks and they have little rollers in. Obviously the, the curtains hung off and you slid front to back. So these little rollers, they're not particularly smooth, I'm sure once they're greased up they will slide a little bit easier. In my opinion, that is free, it's already here and I've got enough of it to put one section across the spray booth and then a couple of lengths down the length of my shed so that I can hook it off of that rail onto this one, slide it along the shed and get it into my drying space on my own. Now I'm just about to start dismantling this and my brain's gone into a little bit of an overdrive thinking this is never in the right place. It's either too far near the boot to be able to swing one end of the, the item that I want to turn around around or it's, it's too far away from the, from the thing. If you have it sat out here 
sometimes your overspray will, will balloon up and not go through the booth. So it's a, it's a bit of a game knowing where to put this rail in terms of how far away from that filter paper. But I have just come up with a bit of a thought that what if I could use a couple of sections of this track uh, this way in the booth and then hang a section of the track itself between them two sections and have that whole track so it slides and I can position that wherever I want. That might be a really, really good thing so that I can bring out and spray really far away from the booth if I want or slide it right back in and catch every bit of overspray. So just kind of running through my head now as to whether that's going to work. I think looking at the the hook system here, so this, this could be a short section that goes forwards and backwards into the booth, and then I could take one of these hooks and weld it to the end of a section of rail and pretty much have it in line with this, so I won't lose any height in the spray booth. I've got my brain ticking over that as. Right, I've decided I'm going to do it, so you don't know unless you try. So I need one, one to about here, which is 2.3, should be fine. And one, so I need two lengths at about 2.4. I can just put the rails up to this old beam and leave that in place and that would leave me sort of a double ever get anything in here to spray that wants hanging up sort of there, there, and the same on the opposite side. I've then got the opportunity to do it, so I want to make them front to back rails a little bit shorter to fit in that space. Right, whatever you do, don't tell my brother that I've been in his workshop. Who would work with metal for a living? It's dirty stuff. There's one. Nobody will ever know. It's not like you're putting it on the internet or anything. So in theory, what I'm going to do is this is going to go in and out of the booth and have that hanging piece there and make a little bracket so that this is welded to that hanging rod. Then that can effectively slide along that rail. In a similar plane to this, it'll be dropped a little bit, but. Uh, that's the theory of what I'm going to do. This is a little Axminster bandsaw he's had for probably a good seven, I bet it's more than seven years. But it's at least ten years old. I don't know if there's a thing like that. Bloody hell. The work that has done is unbelievable. And for a small workshop, perfect. Looking through the offcut bin, I've found a bit of decent sized flat bar. And I think my plan is going to be just to, to leave this rail between a little bit short of the, the slide rail. So this is the front to back rail, this is the one that will go across the spray booth. And then the pulley there, I'm going to weld this flat bar to that pulley. And then weld that onto the flat bar so it just drops down maybe an inch, weld them together and that'll allow that to slide back and forward on that rail under the spray booth. There we go, spread out. I wonder if that'll go in there. Oh I. Beautiful. Right, I think that's going to sit like that. Oh, 
cover up the old welds. If you're a fabricator for a living, or my brother, look away now. What I should have done is drilled that before I welded it on. I think I got away with that one. Let's get out of here quick. What's it up there? So, uh, between them rails. Send that off a bit. Fucking ripper. Little fucking ripper. What a beauty. And screw this one up with it in the right distance apart. Okay. What an idea. So you can spray in the booth if you want. Or I can put it out here, suspend something and spin it around. Just enough room there to get your knuckles in as well. I didn't think about that, so that was handy. While I was welding that, this end on, I actually thought I'll make it wide enough so I can slot a, a set of wheels in. So if I ever need more than the amount of wheels that I've got in there. There's just enough room to add an extra wheel in on this rail. So I'm just adding a couple of battens here on top of the spray booth that these screws that are threaded up from underneath can bite into to give them something to both spread the load on the back of the tin and for the screws to thread into. Right, so I'm not sure how well you can see on the camera, but that is in and it works pretty good. It's never gonna be really smooth because the rollers are like solid bits of plastic, there's no bearing in there. But that is, that's as good as I need it to be. I don't really want it to roll around, to be honest. So having a bit of stiction as I'm spraying and moving stuff is probably a good thing. It acts like a bit of a brake, but it, it is a movable rail, which is it's kind of perfect. Now that they're in position, I've just got to level them. I just screwed this end on temporarily, so I'm just going to level them horizontally. So. This is where this type of laser comes into its own. So I can just turn the vertical lines off. Just have the one horizontal line so I don't get confused. And then measure up. So this can't be moved, that's fixed to the booth. So if I measure to that line, I've got six, eight, seven. Let's see how level my spray booth is now. Six, 690, so we're three mil out of level. So what are we up here? 680, so I'll just lift that screw up about seven mil. Perfect. I've been putting that job off for a very long time. We've probably had them rails two or three years. Actually, it's only took me about two hours to fab that up and and get it all up in place and up and running. So don't put these jobs off, that'll have made my life so much easier. Let's have a look at how we're gonna make these rails up in the ceiling here. So I want one basically to go through to the center of this doorway here. I think I wanna to go to the center, I'm not 100% sure. I kinda, of, I'll be one side of it, won't I, as I'm moving through. So would I be better having it slightly one side. I think I'm gonna aim it two thirds to the left of that doorway, and then it gives me the opportunity to stand one side of it if I need to, and walk through when it's actually in the door. What I've decided to do is use that center on the ridge. I'm just gonna take the expanding foam off of the underside of it and screw it directly to that expanding uh, board. So fingers crossed there's not a cable in here. Okay. 
Just giving the inside of this one a sand with some non-woven abrasive as best I could and cleaned it out because I want this one to slide fairly easily. item on the rail. Yeah, she needs to be a bit smoother. Not particularly sure that that's good enough. As soon as I've got some weight on there, it tends to bounce the load as it hits any bumps in that track. So I actually went to look for a little bit more track that maybe there's a straighter bit without any bumps in it. I noticed on the side of the upright or the top of the lorry was this aluminium track as well. So there's two tracks in there and the rollers actually run really nicely down this track. So, and it's perfect, there's no bumps or anything whatsoever in this one. So that's gonna work perfectly up there. So. I'm just going to swap that Galby track for some aluminium one. Slick as a rick. Got some weight in this. <laughs> okay, great. so there it is. It's in the ceiling. I've greased all the rollers and I've got everything up and running. I put some screws on the ends just to stop the rollers coming out the end of the track. I think one thing I might have to do is just attach the hooks to the chain so when you whip them around quite quickly, you just throw that to that end of that thing, the end of the chain whips about and it throws the hooks off. So what I'm gonna to have to do is uh, probably either weld them on or just a bit of tape around them to stop them flying off. But uh, I'll quickly clean up. I made a bit of a mess knocking all that insulation off and then I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I've got a fairly tall but standard half of a French door there that I would spray in this configuration. So I put the hooks in a, a place where it's not going to be seen where the whole of the hook goes in. So in the hinge housings. On this one I've got four hinges so I like to have them hooks traditionally in a position where I could physically carry that door on my own with my two you know hands can reach where the hooks would go. So I'd, I'd have them on a separate hook and pick that door up and then carry it through to the drying room. Now I've got this set up, what I can actually do is take that one off there, and extend these out and put it on the ends of the door. And it's gonna make it a lot more controlled for me when I'm actually handling and moving this door around. So now I can just pick this bit of the door up and swing it round to my sliding rail in the middle of the room, grab the other side, Swap it for that one. And I've turned the door round, ready for spraying the other side of it really nice and comfortably, and without risk of touching it in any way. And if I've got something that I want to get around the other side of, I can slide this track forward or backwards now. If I now want to take that door through to the drying room once it's sprayed, I bring my two connecting pieces along here, unhook this end of the door, put it onto that rail, 
Do the same thing with this one. Slide it along. Then slide my door along. That's a little bit of a pain, just how my spray booth is laid out, that I then have to change these chains over. But at least now I've got the ability to move stuff that I can't physically pick up myself without having to ask someone else to come help me. So I can swap those chains over at the doorway just by simply swaying it left and right. So I've not got to physically lift that door up. And I've swapped onto this chain in the next room and can carry on sliding it along. Same thing when I get to this beam, bring that chain along and swap it over for that one. Now I'm pretty much in my drying room with this end of the door. And I've just got to do the same with this side. So remember, I'm not going to be doing this with every single thing that I spray. Stuff like small sashes, I'll still be carrying through. It's more to enable me to be able to spray something like the whole sash box on my own. I can hang it up, get it in this position. Then once it's in the drying room, it's just a case of pivoting it to the position or the hanging position that I want it to end up in. I'm using these hooks, by the way, those are really good. So at this point, I'll probably take it off of the chain on this end of the door and hang it up in this first position here or on whatever position on these strings above on the door that are attached to the ceiling. I've got to sort them out because I've kind of looped them over while I've been working up in the ceiling. And then take this end, swing it round, and I'd have a good line of, or a stack of doors here, or if it's something like a sashes, I can have two lots, so two runs, I can fit, like I say, about 25 to 30 sashes in here at one time. So I'll just show you a bit more of the frame in the spray booth. So this, I think this is a really good idea. There's probably a system available that it's in a similar ilk, but I can, I'm free to hang anything in this booth now at any length so I can adjust my hanging points quite freely slide them to wherever I want them I can actually now get higher in the booth than I could before on this system because the hook in the top of the door could actually hook straight onto that rail because it's now adjustable it can actually go in line with the top of the door or wherever that hook is or it needs to be so I can get higher in the booth than I could before. And like I say, if I need to spray a frame out, you know, a bit further out here, or just hang something on that rail at some sort of distance in this free space between this beam and the booth, I can slide that out. I don't know if it'll do it one-handed, but I can slide that out pretty easily and just have that hang in there and spray here and it's uh, that's going to be really good. Like I say I just left enough room in there to be able to pop the wheels on in and out so if I ever need to add an extra wheel in there I've got the ability to do so. I'm really pleased with that and no doubt you'll be seeing it in action in a video soon on some sash windows.